Hi folks and welcome back. So the other day I received my new purchase through the post. A Garmin Enrich Mini 2. So I thought what we would do today is go through the setup process and find out just how easy it is. Stay with me. Okay, so let's get this opened up and find out what's in the pack. So that's the actual unit itself. It's got the carabiner loop attached to it. It's your USB charging cable. That's your carabiner for attaching it to your gear. Uh, quick start guide and safety information. I'm a man, so we'll not read these. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is on the computer. I've went to explore.garmin.com, which is uh, any devices you have with Garmin. This is the account you go through. Um, so I already have an existing account. So I'm going to use the sign in here rather than create the new account. So I'm just going to click on sign in. Okay, so that's me on to my main page there. So up the top here, it's saying plans and devices. So I'm going to click on that. So it's showing my Instinct Solar Watch already. Um, it's giving you the option to add another device here or add an in-reach device. So let's click on that there. Okay, so it's needing the IMEI number and an authorization code. Uh, asking you to accept the terms and you accept the terms of use and then select the country or region of where I am. Okay, so uh, to find your IMEI number and authorization code, select your inReach models. Okay, so it tells you to go to explore.garmin.com, which we're already there to activate the device. Press OK to continue, so I shall do that. And now it's giving me the IM. EI number and the authorization code. So I'm going to input these into the computer and then I'll bring you back once I've done that and we can see what's happening. Okay, so I've put in those numbers. The Garmin inReach itself is asking to acquire a GPS fix, so it needs to have a clear view of the sky. So I'm going to go outside and do that. On the computer screen here, it's actually come up asking for all my personal details. So I'm going to enter those in and then move on to the next stage. And I'll bring you back at that point. Okay, so I've entered in all my personal details and clicked on the next page. Uh, this is now asking for your emergency contacts. Okay, so it's allowing you to put two contacts in there and... I suppose this is a, in case of an emergency and you press the SOS button. This is who the messages get sent to as well as going to the Garmin International Emergency Response Coordination Centre, which is who handles all the emergency um, calls. So I'm just going to fill this in and I'll then move on to the next page and bring you back at that point. So that's me entered in both my emergency contact details. Next page it has brought me to is to select the service plan. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about what plans are available because there's quite a lot you need to look into. Um, there's lots of information out there on the web explaining what the differences are. Um, but I've done a bit of research and I know what one I'm going to go to. So two options. Uh, you have a, a monthly freedom plan that you have a 30 day commitment to that. Or you have a 12 month contract. 
So for my benefits, I'm going to go for the 12 month contract. So I'm going to select that. Then it gives you three different options, a safety plan, a recreation plan and an expedition plan. And here in the UK, those plans are $12.99 a month, $24.99 a month and $49.99 a month. That's at this moment in time, which is December 2022. So looking at all the different options, the best option for me for what I do is going to be the safety plan at $12.99 a month. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to hit the next. So this page is telling me when you activate SOS, a message is sent to the Garmin International Emergency Response Coordination Centre. They notify the appropriate emergency responders and stay in communication with you and your emergency contacts throughout the SOS. Um, this service does not cover potential expenses incurred during a rescue. And it's telling me what is included in my plan there. That's fine. And then I'm going to go on to next. Okay, so this is now offering me a search and rescue insurance plan. And two options there which is a SAR 100 plan, Search and Rescue 100 plan which is 39.99 a year and a Search and Rescue HR plan so that's a high risk plan that one which is £299.99 a year that's obviously in um, British pounds so in the UK we're quite lucky our rescues are all covered um, so I'm going to continue without coverage because I'm not going to be doing too many more um, expeditions abroad in the next year or two that I know about so um, I could always update that at a later time so I'm going to continue with without coverage okay so this is just giving me a summary before I click on the final details it's explaining uh, what my device is, the plan I have, my information, my emergency contacts, and a summary of the charges. So I'll click next on that. So it's want me to confirm activation, uh, making sure I understand and agree to the terms. So this is basically saying that I'm committing to a 12 month deal. And if you cancel within the 12 months, before the end of the 12 months, you will have to continue paying basically the remaining fees to the end of the, the contract. So I'm going to agree with that. So this is now coming up for my payment details. Okay, so I'm going to enter these in and then I'll come back to you. So payment details have all been entered and authorised and now all they're doing is activating the inReach and saying it can basically take several minutes to do that. So I'll bring you back once that's done. So that's taken about three minutes and it's now activated. So that's my inReach now connected to the satellite system and it's asking me to click next. So that's telling me the activation is, or how to complete it. Um, take the device outside and follow the on-screen directions. And then it's just telling me how I can send emails and texts. And this is basically now taking me on to map share um, so that's how people can track me and I can send messages so that's something I have to look into at the moment to see how I can work that but basically that's how you activate your Garmin very very straightforward and very simple to do I hope that's been a help to some of you guys okay guys catch you on the next video thanks folks